For more breaking news coming in, Hussein Haqqani, the former Pakistan ambassador to America, has declined to return to Pakistan to testify before the Supreme Court in the infamous Memogate affair, claiming that the government is unable to offer him adequate protection. We have Hamza Amir, our correspondent, joining us on the phone line from Pakistan. Hamza, coming to you, it seems that uh, the diplomat has actually exposed Pakistan's duplicity because he feels unsafe in a land where he's being asked to come and depose. Well, that is correct. Uh, see, Hussain Akani, uh, surprisingly enough, he was he left to uh, to the U.S. immediately after, as soon as he got his uh, relief from the Supreme Court. And now, you know, he has refused to come back because he says that the government has failed to protect the lives of the locals. So they will obviously not be able to put given enough security for him to be comfortable in Pakistan. And that is why he has refused to come to give a statement forward in the Memo Gate case because the Memo Gate case is something that is still going on in the courts of Pakistan. A very controversial case that goes against the President Zarzari of uh, his fears of an army coup after the Osama bin Laden operation in Aftabad. And since then, Hussain Akani and Mansoor Ijaz, both the people who actually revealed and, and are basically uh, considered to be main uh, uh, main people who were part of this memo gate and memo letter that was uh, sent to the U.S. Uh, government through Hussain Akani and Mansoor Ijaz. Uh, uh, that uh, you know they were they were requesting Pakistani president was requesting intervention of the United States in, in the matters, and I think this time around when Hussain Akani was expected to be in Pakistan, he has refused to do so, highlighting the fact that Pakistan remains a very uncertain and a very insecure place for uh, high-profile people, not only high-profile but also uh, for people who are uh, uh, you know dying every day. And he has he has maintained that. I think this time around as well, it is going to give a new dimension to the case because the Supreme Court right now is actually looking into the reasons and the threats that uh, Hussain Akani has been having. The fears are there for him to not to come to Pakistan. This also seems to be a clear indictment as far as Zardari is concerned, Hamza, because it seems that uh, this letter really is indirectly pointing at Zardari and the threats that Zardari and his men pose to Akani. And also just quickly tell us about how this will be a setback really for the Memogate trial that's on. Uh, yes, I think, you know, you're right when you say that, you know, it's going to be a setback uh, in the memo gate case because they, we were looking forward to, uh, you know, results coming in for long now. Commissions have made their reports. So they have also highlighted the fact that, you know, there were concerns on both sides of Pakistani uh, the government and also from the U.S. side that, you know, there might be an military coup after Osama bin Laden incident occurred. But right now, as uh, the main people and the main suspect uh, being uh, Hussain Haqqani himself, not being present in front of the court will obviously become uh, delay the process furthermore. And not to forget, I think you know this is also in line with the fact that elections being around the corner in a few months uh, time in Pakistan. They, uh, any uh, you know major decision against the, the ruling government will actually result in a loss loss of a vote bank, uh, which might actually hurt them during the election. So I think this time around they are trying to play it in a way that you know lengthen the case forward, just the way they've been doing it for the prime minister as well on his arrest warrant from the Supreme Court. They are trying to linger that forward as well so that right. as soon as the government goes off, uh, right. they can play it around well and they cannot lose their vote. 